Hi guys, welcome to our video 1.4, Atomic Number and Mass Number. So first we're going to take a look at the atomic number. And this here you might recognize from your reference table. If you look on the periodic table page, right, you've got the periodic table. Yes, I know I can't draw. And up in the middle, there's this sample box with this C. So we're going to look at that as our main example today. And we're going to start learning about what some of these things on here mean. Okay, so atomic number. This number here, and it tells you on your periodic table, this bold number to the lower left, is the atomic number. The atomic number tells you how many protons are in an atom of an element. Well, based on the fact that you learned from our last video that the number of protons is equal to the number of neutrons, it also tells you how many electrons are in a neutral atom. Because each element and each element has a different number of protons, so each element has its own atomic number. Okay, so different atomic number, different atomic number means different element. Same atomic number, same element. Different atomic number, different element. All right. Period. Next, atomic mass. Atomic mass is in the upper left hand corner. And it tells you the mass of the atom in atomic mass units. A M U. Now, this number here, this atomic mass, there's no single carbon atom with a mass of 12.0111. AMU. The atomic mass here is a weighted average of the naturally occurring isotopes of the element. Basically, and we're going to get more into this in a couple of videos, but most carbon has a mass of 12, the vast majority. There's some with a mass of 13 and some with a mass of 14, but by the time they say, all right, most of them is this, so we're going to weigh this more heavily, they come up with this average atomic mass. No, it's a weighted average. Now, the mass number, so let's say we just treat this as 12 and say, we're going to talk about carbon 12. Is the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. Remember, protons have a mass of 1 AMU. Neutrons have a mass of 1 AMU. So if we add up all the protons and all the neutrons, we get the mass number. Okay? So let's think about here. The mass number is 12. This carbon has 6 protons. So 6 plus what equals 12? Well, for carbon, right, 6 plus 6 equals 12. So this carbon has 6 protons and 6 neutrons. A little bit of algebra. We can see that the number of neutrons is equal to the mass number minus the atomic number. So 12 minus 6 gives us 6 neutrons. Okay, we're going to have to be able to calculate this many, many times. All right, question time. So here's oxygen, right? So oxygen, this is the weighted atomic mass, so let's treat it as a mass number of 16. Okay, so oxygen. All right. So first question, easy. For oxygen now, you're going to have to figure out how many protons, how many neutrons, and how many electrons, similar to what I did on the carbon on the screens before. All right, that brings us to the end, and I will see you guys at school.